burning down pretty good now. It's wasted all this time and effort. Let's give this another shot. Hello, welcome back to another episode from Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm Bill, glad you could join me. Today I'm back in the high country and I thought I'd shoot a video on how to start a fire with a discarded lighter, an empty discarded lighter. And this is going to be a method that uh, that isn't the, uh, the typical uh, way that it's been shown. So let's get started. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. Got a little set up out here, and uh, I want to show today. People uh, throw stuff around all the time. They discard bottles and cans and uh, cigarette lighters, among many other things. And uh, I'm amazed at. I call them unnatural resources, and. You know, in a survival situation, uh, even unnatural resources can be put to use. And uh, I've been out pretty deep in the woods, and I'm always amazed at what I run across. It's it's amazing what people uh, discard. <coughs> Excuse me. So I was out out and about, and I ran across a discarded, whoops, bic lighter, and. It's, uh, it's pretty much used up, so I thought, you know, I've seen people show how to use the spark to ignite charred material, which can be used for that purpose, but uh, there's another way you can use this as well that I don't think anyone has, uh, has demonstrated, so I'm going to get out my multi-tool here. And we're going to go ahead and, as soon as I find, screwdriver bit here. So if you run across one of these, what you want to do is, even if it doesn't work anymore, you want to dismantle it. So take the child proof, that little wheel, a little doohickey on the top here that you push down it's a child proof deal so that pops right off take a screwdriver whatever you have just get in there and 
pop it off just like that okay now we want to pop this whole top section off now when you do that what we're after is the flint and the flint is a mini ferrocerium rod but you have to be real careful it's under pressure with a spring in there and if you're not careful when you pull this off it'll pop out and be lost it's pretty small so what we're going to do is we're going to work this top off here you want to put your thumb on top the collar comes off now we're going to pry the wheel out so this is where we're at and then here's the little collar part on top so this piece here the wheel comes right out just like that now this is the part the uh, flint is underneath so you just want to be careful with this see here comes the flint ah and it just sprung out over here on the snow that's why you got to be careful so here's the spring right here and the flint goes right on top of that and then the wheel goes rides in these two little the striker wheels rides in these two little uh, holes here here's the wheel whoop so we have that dismantled so here is the flint and even though the lighter is even though the lighter is used up I don't want to drop it we have quite a bit of flint here it's probably about three-eighths of an inch that's a little mini ferrocerium rod hopefully that's focusing there that's what we're going to use to get a tender bundle started now obviously this thing's pretty small to try and to hold and strike a spark with so what we're going to do we're going to improvise something today and uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to do that here in just a few stay tuned okay <coughs> I have a little uh, dead dry stick here. We're going to go ahead. What we're going to do is we're going to flatten. A little area out just like that. Put a little ledge on here. stick just broke that's okay we only need a short piece we're going to use this as a holder an improvised holder to assist us in using that little little rod there <coughs> allergies are killing me had a windstorm the other day for a couple of days and it's springtime it just stirred all the pollen and the dust up. So we don't want much of a ledge here, just a small little ledge. To help help and hold in this thing and 
that's what we have. Just a small little little lip on there. Put the uh, flint over here in the bowl. Because if I don't, it's going to come up missing. This is what we have. The edge of the ferrule rod rides on that little that little lip. Use a thumbnail to hold the top. Now we got us a little mini ferrule rod. We can use the knife blade. What I'm going to use is the sharp edge. You normally don't use the sharp edge when you use a 90 degree spine, but uh, this thing's so small, I'm going to break that rule. And I'll stick this down in the tender bundle. And I'll use that sharp edge and let's see if we can get some uh, good spark off there enough to get a, a tender bundle started. And I actually need to get a fire going here for another video, so I'm going to cook some more salmon out here. I brought a good size chunk of salmon fillet and uh, I'm going to go ahead and cook that up a little bit later on so and I'm shooting another video after this so we'll go ahead and we're going to stick all this over here in the bowl and yeah, for safekeeping I'm going to get a tender bundle out and uh, I shall return so stay tuned okay just about set up here Got some, uh, everything's pretty wet out here. Some globs of pine resin. White birch bark. And a little mini ferro rod. <coughs> That little ledge on there keeps it from moving around a lot and you kind of stick your thumbnail on there and then push down and it holds it pretty securely. I'm just going to use the tip and normally like I said you don't want to use the sharp edge of a, of a blade but this little bit isn't going to hurt anything. And this isn't something that you would do all the time. Just a demonstration here. So I'm going to stick it down in the tender bundle here. Let's see if we can get this to ignite. has a uh, little paint on it just like a there we go Add a little flame.
There it goes. Smothered it. Everything's pretty damp, <coughs> even though I collected this kindling from the lower dead branches and twigs from the trees. It's still pretty, uh, pretty damp. I can hear the wood sizzling. You can probably hear that steaming. You can hear the moisture. to this birch bark, so I'm going to save this. Okay, that worked pretty good. We'll take a look at the uh, take a look at the flint. See how much we scraped off, and uh, go ahead and conclude the video. Stay tuned. Okay, let's give you guys a close up of what I did here. That's kind of backlit, isn't it? There we go. Here's the little, this the little lips, like a little shallow number seven notch for a, a trap trigger. Just very shallow. And flint. This one actually probably has enough 
surface area and it has black on it paint just like any other ferro rod it's just a mini ferro rod is all it is see where I was striking here and didn't use much there's probably enough there for two maybe three more fires and just to give you a close-up of what I was doing I was just putting the edge of that into that lip and then holding the top with my thumbnail just like that and then the tip of the knife, the sharp edge, just scraping it downward and that held it very securely. It didn't have any problem whatsoever with that, uh, that working. And obviously got a fire going. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode as much as I did making it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I hope all of you are having an outstanding day or night, depending on where you're located. And I will see all of you very soon on the next one. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.